lux, is Latin for light. This is a measure of the intensity of light as perceived by the human eye. One lux is based on the amount of light a plumber's candle illuminates a one meter square surface placed one meter away. We use a lux meter to measure the level of light. A lux meter mimics human vision in two key ways. Its sensor matches our eye's light sensitivity, peaking at green and yellow. Its lens captures a similar field of view to human peripheral vision. This dual approach lets it measure light in the same way we perceive it. At one meter, the reading is one lux. From this information, we can work out what the readings will be at any distance. Place your lux reading from one meter away at the top. Then the distance required. Two meters. Square the distance. Two squared is two times two. One divided by four is 0 0.25. The lux reading at 2 meters will be 0.25 lux. What will the reading be at 10 meters? Square the distance. At 10 meters the reading will be 0.01 lux. All light travels in this mathematically predictable way. It's a law of physics. The inverse squared law for light. Let's let Professor Eric Rogers explain the inverse square law with his famous butter gun. That with a fable. Suppose a restaurant has the problem of buttering toast and wants to be very modern and do it with a machine. So the proprietor invents a butter gun with melted butter in here, which can be squirted out in straight line spray of butter like that. Here's the piece of toast, and lines of butter go out and hit it there, and there, and there, and there, and butter it all over. Now instead of that, lines might go on, and you could put the toast further back at twice the distance, two pieces of toast wide, two toasts high, and all together you would put four pieces of toast there, to intercept the butter, and you'll be half as thick, no, quarter as thick buttering. Inverse square law. At three times the distance, three pieces of toast, three pieces of toast, altogether nine pieces of toast, and you would get one ninth of the buttering economy treatment. The first toast at one meter has 36 butters or 36 lux of light. At two meters, the 36 lux or butter is spread over four square meters. The meter reads just one square meter of that area. This continues. At six meters, your meter will read one lux. As the light at one meter is now spread over 36 meters squared. Light is extremely good at speed, but it's not that good at keeping bright over distance. From one to two meters, the brightness falls to a quarter. At 10 meters, one one hundredth. On a moonless dark night, for a human to see a light source, at least 0.0001 lux of its light must reach the eyes. Below that, it will be invisible. Creekh Lighthouse in France is considered the most powerful lighthouse in the world. From one meter of the light, it would measure an incredible 500 million lux. It has a range on a clear day of 69.5 kilometers or 43.2 miles. As powerful as it is, at 10 kilometers, the lux reading from the light would only be 5 lux.
At 69.5 km, the reading will be 0.10351 lakhs. Allowing for a small loss due to the atmosphere, it will soon be below the visible limit. We have confirmed the lighthouse range, using the inverse square law, for light.